in this video we are going to discuss about features of Python. Uh, totally there are 15 features are there. Now let us see all the features one by one. The first feature is simple and easy to learn. Uh, Python is a simple language. Why? Because uh, the syntaxes of Python are very very simple and the basic structure of a Python program is very very simple. When compared with uh, C basic structure, C++ basic structure, Java basic structure, uh, Python structure is very very simple. So that's why we can say that Python is a simple language. As well as Python is uh, very very easy to learn. Uh, if we observe any Python program, then reading the Python program is simply like uh, reading the English language. Uh, here Python is very very easy to learn. Why? Because Python supports very limited number of keywords. Python supports 33 keywords. Uh, so if we get the complete knowledge about those 33 keywords, then it is quite easy uh, to learn the Python programming language. So this is the first feature. And the second feature is free and open source. Python is a free software. There is no need to pay a single paise for uh, using the Python. Python software is available in python.org so from python.org we can download the python software and we can make use of that software uh, freely uh, as well as python is open source software uh, we can say that any software is open so open uh, source software if that software code is uh, uh, openly freely available in the internet so that uh, we can perform some modifications on that language and we can develop our own uh, uh, modifications and we can develop our own programming language so that's why we can call Python as a open source programming language why because Python code is freely available in the internet uh, so that we can make our own modifications on the Python and we can uh, develop our own programming language by incorporating uh, some extra features uh, and the third reason is uh, Python is high level programming language so high level means it is in the form of uh, alphabets and some digits and symbols. Uh, so that's why it is very very easy to learn Python. Why? Because Python is what? High level programming language. It is simple English. So it is very very easy to uh, learn and understand the Python programming language. Uh, if you take uh, machine level language, it is in the form of zeros and ones. Okay. Whereas uh, coming to the Python, the advantage is it is a high level programming language just like C, C++ and Java Python is a high level programming language high level means it is in the form of alphabets some digits and some symbols and the next one is interactive uh, Python is uh, an interactive programming language so why Python is called as interactive programming language why because uh, Python in Python we use some shell so shell means uh, if you give any command then we will get the output immediately so let us assume that we have written a statement like this print of 10 plus 20 so 10 plus 20 result is 30 so we will get 30 as the output so that's why we can say that Python is interactive programming language so whenever if we execute any command then we will get the output uh, directly so there is some interaction between the shell and the programmer and the next one is platform independent so Python is platform independent programming language why because uh, if you develop a python program then that program can be executed on any platform it may be windows operating system or linux or some unix or some macintosh or some solaris on any operating system we can execute our python program so that's why we can say that python is platform independent it doesn't depends upon any platform it doesn't depends upon any operating system so if we if we develop any program then the same program can be executed on any operating system and the next one is portable so Python is portable programming language portable means uh, uh, if you develop a program then the same program can be migrated can be changed from one platform to another platform without making any single modification let us assume that we have developed a Python program using Windows operating system in Windows operating system then the same program can be migrated from window, Windows to Linux without uh, a single modification. So without making a single modification, 
we can execute the same program on Linux operating system also. So likewise we can migrate that program from Linux to some Solaris operating system without making a single modification. So here the major difference between platform independent and portable is platform independent means the same program can be executed on any platform. Portable means we can migrate that program from one operating system to another operating system without making a single change. And the next one is dynamically typed programming language. This is one of the advantage of the Python. So dynamically typed means uh, here there is uh, no data types in Python programming language. So without data type we can declare the variable. And let us assume that uh, we have written a statement like this a is equal to 10. So what is 10? 10 is nothing but integer value. Now a variable will become integer type. Let us assume that we have written a statement like this a is equal to 1.2. So 1.2 will be assigned to a. So a will become the float data type. So this is one of the advantage of the dynamic Python programming language, dynamically typed. So dynamically typed means no data types. Python doesn't support any data types. There is no need of any data type while declaring a variable. Depends upon the variable, the variable will get the corresponding data type. And the next one is extensible. Python is extensible programming language. Why? Because we know that Python is open source software. So open source software means that code is freely available to all of us so that we can make our own modifications on that code and we can uh, we can develop our own programming language by making some improvements. So here we are extending uh, our Python programming language. So that's why we can say that Python is extensible programming language. It is open source software. It is a open source software. So by making some extra modifications, we can extend our Python software. And the next one is embedded. So Python is embedded programming language. So that means we can embed Python code in uh, languages like C, C++, Java, C Sharp or some JavaScript, some scripting language. So we can embed our Python code in any, pro in any programming language. It may be C or C++ or Java or C Sharp or in any program we can embed our Python code. And the next one is procedure oriented and object oriented. So Python is both procedure oriented as well as object oriented programming language. If you take C, C is procedure oriented only. If you take C++ Java, they are uh, object oriented only. If you take C Sharp, C Sharp is object oriented only. But coming to the Python, it is both Procedure oriented, object oriented, interactive programming language, shell script, uh, shell, uh, shell programming language, scripting programming language, everything will be supported by the Python. So we know that uh, procedure oriented means uh, the, the Python program will be based upon some procedures, some functions. As well as Python is object oriented. So object means instance of the class. So class means collection of variables and methods. So Python supports all object oriented features such as class, object, encapsulation, abstraction, inheritance, polymorphism. So all the object oriented uh, features are supported by the Python. And the next one is extensive library. So Python has extensive library. So like we have uh, pandas, okay, numpy. So by using all those libraries, we can develop uh, very very complex applications with the help of uh, some machine learning algorithms, deep learning algorithms. So by making use of all these libraries like uh, NumPy, Pandas, so likewise uh, various libraries are there. So with the help of all those libraries, we can develop very very complex applications. So that is the beauty of Python. But uh, that uh, those complex libraries will not available in uh, the remaining programming languages like Java, C Sharp. Okay? Some extensive libraries are available only in Python. And the next one is robust. Python is robust programming language. Robust means strong programming language. We can say that any programming language is robust if it is excellent in memory management as well as exceptional handling. So Python is excellent in memory management. Why? Because in Python we have new operator, delete operator, in some garbage collection, garbage collectors. Uh, likewise, Python is excellent in exception handling. So with the help of Python, we can handle the exceptions in uh, a well-defined manner. So we can say that Python is a robust programming language. Why? Because it is excellent in both memory management as well as exception handling. And the next one is multi-threading. 
Python is a multi-trading programming language. So multi-trading means uh, if there is a big task, then in instead of executing the task separately, what we can do is we can divide the task into several tasks where each task represents a thread. So thread means unit of execution. So that we can we can execute multiple tasks simultaneously. So with less amount of time, we can perform a big task. And the next one is garbage collection. So Python uh, supports garbage collector. So garbage collector means if uh, there is an object which is no longer used, then object mem then that object memory will be destroyed implicitly by the Python garbage collector. And the next one is security. So Python is a very very secure programming language. We have uh, excellent security features are there in Python programming language. So by using all those features, we can provide the security. So these are the various features of the Python programming language.